You are listening to Hello Cupcake, It's Me, a podcast with your host, Michael Peterson. Hey everyone, Michael here with Hello Cupcake, It's Me, a podcast, and today is September 19th, 2024. Welcome to season two, episode 35. If you haven't done so already, please hit like and subscribe. Then head on over to youtube.com slash hello cupcake it's me to check out the YouTube channel that's updated every Wednesday and Saturday. Then head on over to hello cupcake it's me.com to check out the blog. And then uh, make sure you check out my upcoming book, Carpe Diem Scroto 365 Daily Affirmations, scheduled for publication November 2024 and make sure you follow me on all the different social medias you'll find the links down below so how the hell is everyone i'm doing relatively okay today uh have had a really bad bout of depression and just crap going on um i talked about it in uh yesterday's check-in video over on youtube so i'm not gonna get into it too much here but you know still dealing with depression still dealing with um weird idolation thoughts and just whatever um i have very little to no interest in doing anything right now and it's really starting to impact my day-to-day um like today i had to force myself to go to the ymca and do my swimming and i just didn't want to do anything honestly i just wanted to stay in bed and basically just sleep until my body decided that it wanted to wake up but um i'm actively seeking help right now trying to get in with um a new doctor who can help me with uh getting diagnosed with adhd helping me with other mental health issues and stuff like that the one doctor that i really want to see for whatever reason is being completely bogarted by the um by my primary care doctor and pretty much anyone to do with that facility and i'm like why the fuck are you guys fighting like the third monkey on noah's ramp right now to keep me from seeing this doctor is it because like he's a holistic doctor is it because you don't like his personal practice or whatever else like a lot of questions um there was this one doctor that i saw who's actually a psychiatric doctor and um i saw him back in 2010 when i was going through all of my um testing to see if i was going to be put on ssdi and um really had a good rapport with him liked his office liked his energy and um so they said yeah that i could go and see him if i wanted to but they would write out the referral for that so um if i don't feel like that doctor is going to be any good i'm just going to go to the doctor that i want to see and tell them listen my my PCP is not uh, recommending me to you and uh, they're basically boy- boycotting you and you know here's the messages that they've sent me here's the voicemail that they've sent me so I want to see you you're in my coverage uh, let's do this but um my sister asked me last night, she said, well, what is having the diagnosis of ADHD going to do for you? And I said, well, if I am actually diagnosed ADHD, which I've kind of self-diagnosed myself by 
taking classes and learning more about it and I fit so many of the categories I said I just don't have any training or therapy like tools that are associated with ADHD behavior so if I do find out okay this is ADHD behavior and not just something else like depression masking itself as whatever else then okay that gives me a a trajectory that gives me okay well now I need to do um, CBT type therapy or I need to do some other kind of cognitive therapy to help me overcome those blockages that are there and she said well as a child I never saw you with any kind of ADHD uh, tendencies and I'm also like well you know you can't remember the color of underwear you have on right now but okay I'm all but ADHD does exhibit it's or I should say present itself in different ways it doesn't necessarily mean being the hyper kid running up and down the hall screaming and whatever else it like there's the hyper focus there's the inability for change so you know there there are all the, those things that I hyper focus on and um, jumping from craft project to craft project like whenever I take on a new craft I have to buy every single possible element for that particular craft and I might do it for two three weeks and then never touch it again like that's how it was when I was making jewelry I spent probably a good thousand dollars on all kinds of jewelry making equipment all the little crystals and doodads and I haven't made a piece of jewelry in over eight years now still have all the stuff I could very easily pick it back up but I have no desire to do so for a while there it was painting and I have all kinds of paint brushes and all types of different paints and canvases and easels and whatever else have no desire to paint right now um you know there there's just a lot of things that I cycle through so um, yeah I and I'm not looking to get on Adderall or anything like that if they do prescribe it to me I might try it and you know the most that it do is help me focus or will crack me out to the point where I just am on go 24 hours a day seven days a week but um just for right now I just I, I want that like okay yes you have this now here are the treatments that you can pursue and in pursuing these treatments you know you might be able to touch on the depression you might be able to touch on the hoarding you might be able to touch on this that or the other thing so yeah um but yeah so today um today has just been kind of one of those like up and down and everywhere in between days um mostly down and the more that i think about things the more that i hurt my feelings and uh yeah it's uh that's a fun one when you fuck around and hurt your own feelings but there's just a disconnection between me and certain parts of my friends group right now and I don't know what the hell is going on I don't know if I did something to cause the disconnect or what's going on but anyways uh, that's just one of the many triggering factors right now also still dealing with the biological mom's bullshit and I, I'm I'm at the point where I'm about ready to just tell the state of Oregon she's yours fucking deal with her 
put her into a padded room. It could be a zero star Yelp review place with roaches the size of Godzilla crawling through there and just deal with her. But um, also outside of that, just kind of like doing my own thing. I have been watching a lot of stupid 80s movies. Uh, especially like the B-rated movies like uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Transylvania 6 uh, stuff like that. And last night, it's not a 80s movie, but I watched the Spirit Halloween movie. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's actually... A pretty decent movie for it being literally a spirit Halloween movie like the um, if you're listening to this podcast outside of the United States I don't know if they have these stores anywhere else but here in the United States spirit Halloween starts showing up about the end of August beginning of September and it's a Halloween store with a bunch of like different costumes and accessories and uh, decorations and things like that and they show up in these random obscure abandoned buildings and um, a little overpriced on most things but for the most part like it's definitely a go-to place for anything Halloween related but uh if you have little kids that want to do like scary movies on Halloween, it's the perfect amount of scary for like little littles. The teens might not be that hip to it, but like little littles would be okay with it. There's nothing gory or anything, there's nothing super scary. A lot of the stuff is. Um, animatronics that they sell there at the Halloween store Um, but it's got a really good uh, storyline it's kind of like a coming of age storyline and the main character is dealing with the fact that his uh, father passed away and the mother remarried and you know just typical tween stuff that most kids deal with and just a fun movie but uh, I'm trying to build up the tolerance to watch either Toxic Crusaders or Attack of the Killer Tomatoes and um, I used to play with the Toxic Crusader toys back in the 90s when they released them but uh, I never watched any of the uh, movies. And I think I watched the cartoon for like a brief second. So uh, I don't, re- I honestly don't remember much. The only reason that I got the Toxic Crusader toys is because they were less than two or three dollars at Kmart back in the early mid 90s. And so. Um, you know, that was something that I was afforded as uh, a toy back then. So, anyways, yeah, so that's kind of what's been going on. Um, not doing any major gaming. I've just been playing a bunch of games on my phone. Right now, I'm playing this game called Monopoly Go. And if you look in the uh, links down below uh, this podcast, you will see something called Fetch. And if you join through Fetch, Monopoly Go is one of the games that you can um, that you can play and get rewards. And what Fetch does is um, whenever you go shopping online or uh, in person, you just take a picture of your receipt and it uploads it and gives you points for that or whatever else. And um, there's a gaming section in there where you can play games. And if you do X number of things on the game, you get certain numbers of points or whatever. 
So I'm almost completely uh, pegged out on what I can do on Monopoly Go. Uh, but that's one of the games that I have downloaded right now. And I think there's a Royal Match and a few other like games that you see for your phone like when you're playing other games and I like connect three games or like the matching games or whatever but I don't want to play royal match just based on the fact that their advertisements are everywhere and they piss me off whenever I have to sit through and watch them and can't skip them um, that's not to say that I probably won't download the stupid game just to get more points on fetch or whatever but anyways what you do is you accumulate these points and you can join shopping clubs and stuff like that on there. Um, you can even get points for shopping at uh, eBay, Walmart, Timu, AliExpress, Target, Alta, like all these different places. But then you can take your um, the points that you make and transfer that into like actual gift cards or um, products and stuff from... GameStop, uh, Ulta, Bed Bath & Beyond, Target, Walmart, so on and so forth. So, kind of cool to look into. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Got questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section down below. And uh, please stay tuned for a commercial. It really helps, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys. Hey everyone, did you know that there is a new exciting book coming out by the aspiring author Michael Peterson, called, Carpe Diem Scroto 365 Daily Affirmations? This book is a daily affirmation workbook that has mental health writing prompts to help you navigate your day better. With funny and witty plain English humor, you will find prompts that ask you things like talk about a time that you needed support and didn't have it. What did you do to support yourself and what tips and suggestions would you have for others who may be going through something similar? Each day, the affirmations help to reframe things so that you can get the best out of your day. And at the end of the day, there is a journaling section to write about the day's exploits. If you would like to learn more about this fabulous book, please visit the website www.cdsthebook.com. Again, that website is www.cdsthebook.com. If you have a podcast, radio show, or would like to book Michael for an engagement, or have him on your show, please send an email to cdsbook at gmail.com or look for the media kit and other booking information on the website. Thank you so much for tuning in. You have been listening to Hello Cupcake, It's Me, a podcast with your host, Michael Peterson. Please make sure to check back often as new episodes are released bi-weekly. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to send a message to hello cupcake, it's me at gmail.com. And until next time, stay happy, safe, and keep doing the best you can with what you have been given.